another week where we get to learn more about Jesus and about God and read from our Bibles and talk to God through prayer. And it's so wonderful that these past few weeks we've gotten to meet in person at church, which is really exciting. We've been having lots of fun in the big group. We play games, we sing songs, and then we go into smaller groups and we talk about the Bible and we talk about the lesson. And so if you haven't been attending in person, uh, why don't you come along this Sunday and join us um, this week because we will once again be meeting in person. But during the week, we're still going to be providing these really great resources for you at home if you aren't able to come on Sunday, but even if you do come on Sunday. So keep watching out for these. This week's lesson, we are going to be learning about another story, which is about one of the disciples of Jesus named Simon Peter. And the, it's part one of a two-part section uh, about fishermen, because a lot of Jesus' disciples were fishermen. Now, Simon Peter, we're going to learn, lived a life where things just really didn't seem to go his way. He tried so hard and he had so many expectations, but they kept failing until one day he gets to meet Jesus. And so, why don't you keep watching as QuizWorks teaches us, teaches us more about this wonderful story about encountering Jesus. And don't forget that these stories, you can find them in your Bibles. The stories that we do on Sundays, we're doing the parables, and you can find that in your Bible as well. And these are all true stories where we get to learn about Jesus and about God. And so why don't you pray with me before we get into the video. Father God, thank you so much that we have uh, this incredible resource that's been provided by QuizWorks from our brothers and sisters in Australia. Thank you that they teach us so wonderfully from your word, the Bible. And I pray and ask that when we learn about you, that it goes into our hearts and into our minds and that we can understand and know you more. And I pray and thank you so much that we are able to be in person again. Thank you so much that um, you've protected us this far. I pray that you be with us and our families um, as we continue to deal with the struggles that this pandemic has brought. And I thank you so much that we can call on you as our Father and that we know that you hear and listen to us. And we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> so hard to get off. Uh, what were you doing? Well, see, I was getting ready to go fishing with you. <laughs> Alright. What's with the sword? Well, I need to catch a fish somehow. Okay. Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Well, hello everyone. My name is Anika. And I'm Roscoe. And today, Roscoe and I are going to go fishing. Yeah. Oh yeah, I gotta go get the bait. I'll oh. be right back. Alright, alright. See, Roscoe and I are going fishing because we're going to see and hear a story from the Bible. Now, this story is about a man called Simon Peter, and he was a fisherman. Now, Simon's life didn't look the way that he would have hoped it would, but we're going to see that when Simon met Jesus, his life completely changed. But first, we're going to meet a man named Radiger. This is Radiger, and Radiger was not having a good day. To start with, last night while he was trying to sleep, the next door neighbours had been having a really loud party. They were making so much noise, Rudiger couldn't sleep. Finally, at four o'clock in the morning, Rudiger had fallen asleep. But when Rudiger woke up, he realised he had slept in. <laughs> So he quickly got dressed, grabbed one apple for breakfast, first break and second break, and ran out the door. As Radiger ran to school, a bird pooped on his shirt. When he arrived at school, he found out he had a spelling test, and Radiger forgot how to spell all his words. Cat. K-A-D? 
Rudiger was not having a good day at all. The end. Do you sometimes feel like Rudiger? Like everything is going wrong. Like sometimes you feel that you're not smart enough or that your plans just aren't working out. Well, today we're going to see how Jesus met someone a little bit like that. A man, Simon, and how when Jesus came in, he made such a difference in Simon's life. Aha! Well, wait, <laughs> I have my bait! <laughs> <laughs> Is your bait? Uh, that's a bug biscuit. Because it's for the bait. I've got to use it to the, catch the fish. <laughs> what? No, no, no. No fish is going to want to eat that. Wait, wait. Well, that's all right. More for me then. Oh, um, num, 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 num. All right, let's go. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> yes. well, while we go, we're going to watch a story. And the story is Jesus and the Fisherman. Simon peered over the edge of the boat, feeling sad and dejected. He looked at his net, which was covered in seaweed and other rubbish, and shook his head. He turned to Andrew, his brother, and said, All night long, we've been fishing, and all we caught was an old boot. So Simon began the hard, yucky, stinky work of cleaning his nets. <sighs> As Simon worked, he heard a noise coming from down the beach. Simon glanced up and saw a crowd making its way up the beach. Simon shrugged and turned away. He had work to do. As Simon worked, the crowd got closer and closer. Eventually, the crowd was caught up beside the boat. Simon glanced up and couldn't believe his eyes. There was Jesus, a man who had just started becoming quite famous, standing there looking straight at Simon. Simon glanced around. Who was Jesus looking at? After his shocking night fishing, he was sure Jesus wouldn't have any time for him today. Jesus then spoke. Simon, may I please get on your boat to teach this crowd? Simon nearly fell overboard. He couldn't believe that someone like Jesus would want to hang out with him on his stinky boat. W what? You want to get on my boat? That's right. Well, sure. All thoughts of cleaning nets went out of Simon's mind as he sat and listened to Jesus teach about God God's words and God's ways. Repent and believe the good news. My words are like a seed being scattered by a sower. Make sure you are like the good soil. Listen to my words and accept them. Finally, Jesus turned and looked straight at Simon. And Jesus said to him, Let's go out into the deep water and catch some fish. Simon looked around uncomfortably. Uh, Jesus, it's just that I, uh, we have been out all night and we caught nothing. But as Simon looked at Jesus, he saw a look that seemed to say, trust me. But because you say so, I will do it. And with that, Simon and Andrew pushed the boat back into the deep water. When they were out in the middle of the lake, Jesus turned to Simon once again. Throw your net in for a catch. Simon sighed as he looked at his net. All that time cleaning was about to go to waste. Okay, Master. Oh, well, here goes nothing. Oh. Suddenly, Simon was pulled to the side of the boat. Fish had filled his net to overflowing. Simon and Andrew pulled and pulled, Come but there on. were just too oh, many. That's too many. This is amazing. They had to call for help. Quick, quick, come and help. Come and help. Nearly there. <sighs> that's it. Yes, it's working. <laughs> Eventually, Simon collapsed to the deck, exhausted. <sighs> but as he lay there, he realised what had happened. He, a smelly, not all that successful, unworthy fisherman, had just been led to the greatest catch of his life by Jesus. He swung around to Jesus. Jesus, go away from me. I am a sinful man. But Jesus just smiled down at Simon. Don't be afraid, Simon. I want you to follow me. 
Yes, Lord, I will. On that day, Simon Peter's life was changed forever. From that day, he followed Jesus wherever he went. The end. Oh, what a cool story. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, and who knew that the famous and powerful Jesus mm. would want to hang around with a stinky si Simon Peter? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the whole thing about Jesus, is that no matter if you feel like you're not that smart, mm -hmm. or you feel like you're not as successful as you want to be. If, yeah, or like a stinky fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> or if you're a stinky fisherman. Oh, oui. See, the Bible tells us that Jesus wants everyone to know him and to follow him. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's amazing. And you know what? The yeah. Bible tells us that Jesus still wants people <gasps> to know and follow him, even today. What? what? T -t today? But, but how is he going to do that? It's not like Jesus is going to walk down your beach today and talk to us, is it? <laughs> no, it's very <laughs> unlikely. But, <laughs> but the Bible does tell us that Jesus, well, he is alive oh. in heaven. And he wants people to follow him by getting to know him, you know, by reading the word, the Bible, oh. and by trusting him with our whole lives. Oh, cool. Yeah. And you know what? We're going to keep doing that over the next few weeks. We're going to keep learning about who Jesus is. Oh, cool. But yeah. you know what? All this fishing with a rod yeah. is pretty boring. What? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go oh. do get, catch a fish the old-fashioned way. Okay. Well with my sword. With sword. Hi oh, <laughs> Please be careful. Oh, never. Oh. Fishy, fishy. Oh, fishy, 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 fishy. <laughs> Today we have been seeing from the Bible that even if you don't feel that smart, even if you feel that uh, you failed a few times or that you're not as successful as you want to be, we've seen that Jesus wants you to follow him. 